Hey guys, this is Spar Designs for Noble Desktop, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this awesome retro title sequence in Adobe After Effects. So this tutorial is a bit involved, but if you've been watching our other tutorials, you'll be alright. I'll break this effect down for you, so even if you're a newcomer to After Effects, we can still make something cool together. We'll be starting with making the star field here, using CC star, plus a fractal effect for the colors. The pixelated look comes from this cool free plugin I've got, called Pixelate. We'll link that below, especially since we're going to be using it all throughout this project. After that, we'll be making this game over screen using a track mat and some duplication to get that star effect into our letters. I'm going to also show you how to add the blink expression to get this arrow here to blink in and out like an arcade cabinet. Finally, I'll show you how to put them all together. <coughs> now, why is this important? Well, first of all, it's a cool effect. But besides that, this is a great way to see how you can build a full sequence out of separate composition parts. Not only that, since we're reusing some compositions, you're going to learn how to make use of already created compositions. On top of that, knowing you can use plugins for cool visual effects and learning how to use a blink expression is a great way to expand your AE know-how. So we're going to be providing a file for you guys below in the description. It'll have some solids already set up, some text and shapes all ready for you to animate. That way, we can cut out the super basic steps and get right to the cool part. If you find yourself unfamiliar with how we made these shapes and texts, I recommend you check out some of our other tutorials, either here on YouTube or on Instagram or TikTok. We cover both the basics like text, solids, etc., as well as some more detailed tutorials. All right, so this is a duplicate of the file that you're going to be provided. So the first thing we're going to be doing is making a new composition. So new composition, let's call this star field. Now we're going to be making layer new, a new solid. And I'm going to be calling this star field solid. Hit OK. Go over to your effects and presets panel. Type in CC star field. There we go. Or star burst. Always get, I always uh, get the name wrong. Anyways, so we put star burst here. And whoa, you can see already what it does. I'm going to press play so you can see what star burst does. It makes this uh, field of like, round dots that look like they're uh, coming at you. So it does give the illusion that you're flying through space. Oh, I forgot a step. So Command D or Control D, star feels solid. So Command D or Control D the layer and the bottom one, just get rid of CC Starburst because you want a background layer in order for this to work. Go up to layer, solid settings and change the color to white so you can see it. So. There we go, that's how you fix that. So when it comes to this effect, you can like change how far the stars are scattered like that. You can adjust speed to make it faster, grid spacing, so how many stars uh, per squares in the grid that uh, After Effects uses, the size of the stars. We're gonna be using the uh, basic uh, settings here. So I'm just gonna hit reset. Well, I might scatter them a bit, I think to 150. All right, now we're gonna add colors in a very interesting way to CC Starfield. Go over to effects, type in a fractal. Now a fractal essentially is a geometric pattern that repeats itself endlessly. That's more of the, you know, math definition. But for our purpose purposes, just think of it as making a lot of interesting geometric shapes. We're gonna grab this, put it on our uh, Starfield solid, and you can already see what it's doing. Now it's, it might be a little hard to tell, but essentially it's kind of overlaying a geometric pattern in different colors over our stars. I personally want a specific effect, but if you like the way this looks, like, you know, by all means, keep it. But you go over here to effect controls, change set jo choice, sorry, change set choice to Julia inverse. Without going into the math, um, a Julia fractal is a swirly looking fractal, like a hurricane shape. Like I said, the type of fractal isn't too important, but I like this one get different colors, toggle open color, go over to palette, and you can just use the different uh, settings here in order to get different colors. So this one's really cool. I'm gonna go for something a little more subtle. Uh, the one called Apple, I think is pretty interesting. And to get the color to cover the entire composition, toggle open Julia. I'm gonna set the magnification to four. There you go. Now the last thing is we're gonna go down to window and go all the way down, down. Now, if you've installed the pixelated uh, plugin that we've linked below in the description, it'll appear here. Just hit that. This is a free version, so it comes with only one setting, but honestly, that's all we need. Select Starfield Solid, 
Pixelator. It's Pixelator. How cool is that? Now you'll see a bunch of effects pop up in the effect controls panel. Those all come from this Pixelator uh, plugin. You don't really need to mess with this too much. Let's head back to our main composition here by clicking that. There we go. I had accidentally closed my project panel. Anyways, go to your project panel, grab Starfield, and drag it down into your main composition. Put it under a countdown text. You'll notice that the countdown text also has the uh, pixelated property applied. Now in the main comp, you're gonna wanna move your playhead over to about like two seconds, three seconds in. Click your Starfield comp and hit Alt or Option key right bracket. So you can see that trims it. Same thing for the countdown text. Reason being, once the animation keeps going, it'll automatically go over to the game over screen because that's at the bottom of the layer stack. Once these two layers end, then we could see what's at the very bottom, which is this game over screen. Double click to go inside the game over screen. Now we're gonna be putting the star field into the text and we are going to be adding the pixelate effect, a blinking effect. So let's see what we got. So once again, grab that star field comp that we made, drag it right under the text layer here. So now we're gonna be making a track mat. If you don't see track mat here, just hit toggle switches and modes. And basically what a track mat does is that it takes one layer and it kind of shoves it into a, the shape of another layer. And and you'll see what I mean when we make it, but to demonstrate, so we go over to track mat on Starfield, we hit the drop down menu here, select text, and there. You see now the stars are inside of the text. Now one thing I want to point out to you is that if I hid the star field, this would be completely invisible. Um, there are cases where you might want to duplicate the text or whatever the container is and put it underneath the footage if you still want uh, that background to appear. Like let's say you've got some transparency in, in uh, the footage, but you still want the entire text to appear. So just something to keep in mind. Now let's select the triangle. This is made with Polystar, which is an option underneath um, the shape tool over here. We do have an entire tutorial on that. Um, I believe it is a mini tutorial on uh, Instagram or TikTok. We also have a tutorial on basic After Effects tricks that explains how to make triangles. So for this, I want this to blink like in an arcade. Hit T for transparency, or opacity as, as the program calls it. Alt or Option, click on the little uh, stopwatch here. Now we're going to be typing in an expression. Uh, we also have a tutorial on expressions, but to keep it uh, quick, expressions are bits of code that can automate certain processes in um, Adobe After Effects. So instead of keyframing the opacity going in and out like indefinitely, we could just tell the program to do it on its own. So if I've edited this right, then um, I want to zoom in on the expression but I will also, uh, you know, dictate it if you need that. And, you know, so you could also read it off the screen or hear my voice, whatever works for you. So we're going to type in blink rate. And the R in rate is capitalized. Um, and this is telling the program, how often do you want this thing to blink, blink in and out? So hit equals five. Now we're going to put in the equation for the opacity, so n equals space math. So we're telling the program now, do, do a little bit of math. So sine, if you remember trig, uh, that's where sine is from. So time asterisk, so that asterisk means multiplies, blink rate. So that is the uh, property we defined before in this bit of uh, code. Next line. If, so we're giving it a uh, if or, actually just giving it a if else um, command, parentheses, n is less than zero. So close those parentheses, zero, semicolon, else, 100. So basically we're telling the program to go between 0 and 100 on the opacity. And it wants to use the time of the program, that's where the time is, to kind of mark how to separate that up. Basically, as time goes along, it's going to blink from 100 to 0 and back again. Okay, click anywhere to activate that. Oh, semicolon. Oh, I got an expression error because I forgot to put a semicolon next to blink rate. Just remember to put that in. Also, I found a few more problems. Uh, blink rate here has to be uh, capitalized the same way as blink rate over here. The zero was needed a space over here. The seconds are needed a space next to this uh, parentheses. And all of these lines needed a semicolon. 
So if you're encountering any problems with the code, uh, that's normal. I do too. Everyone does when they're writing code. But for reference, I'll put this up on the screen so, so you can check your code against mine. All right, click anywhere in the interface, hit spacebar. All right, it's blinking. Now we're almost done. I'm gonna select my text. I wanna pixelate some stuff now. Pixelate it. It's pixel. Select my triangle. Pixelate it. The uh, text over here is just in a font that happens to uh, have a pixelated effect on it. I prefer the pixelated effect. I think it's cooler. But uh, if sometimes things come out funny looking, then I'll just use the uh, font instead. Head back to our main composition. And look at that. Now we made the whole thing. So different ways that you can apply this is that you can replace the text. So put anything else that you want here besides, you know, the words game over. You can make this into a YouTube channel intro and outro. You can replace the fractal with other colors. You can fill in shapes with the star field. Um, and hopefully what you took away from this was the ability to make um, several little different compositions and how to layer them all together to make a cohesive animation, which is incredibly important in After Effects. In fact, that's probably how most of the uh, motion graphics that you see around get made. Um, I know they can look quite complicated and overwhelming, but very often it's a bit of like a magician's sleight of hand, where it's just a lot of different compositions working together to make a cohesive animation. So yeah, that's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions for other tutorials, let us know in the comments. Uh, let us know about any motion graphics projects that you're working on. We'd love to hear about them. This has been Sapporo Designs for Noble Desktop.